didn't see you there. I was uh, typing on my futuristic uh, invisible keyboard. I like to think about things like that on the last day of the year, which we have made here at the uh, Toy Museum Squirrel Stampede channel, everybody. Um, woo! Uh, Dan is my name, and I'm here to um, do my final uh, blog, vlog from December. Um, and it's been a pretty good year this year. Um, lots of antics here. Maybe we should take a look back. One toy per month. <laughs> and I know that's not going <laughs> to I know that's not going to happen. I know next month this whole thing is going to be blue. And I'm going to be writing with white the negative space. For the toys that I buy, but no, 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 wait, let's, let's just, you know, let the past be the past and, uh, go forward from there. So, um, not much to do today other than just do what I like to call a toy blitz, where I'm going to run through a bunch of backlog toys that have been sitting on my desk, um, catching dust and needing some sort of, um, some sort of, uh, call out. So let's begin. Um, ooh, what's this? It's a little canister. What's inside? Well, it would be none other than Yoshi, a little um, pullback wind-up car. You can get these at the um, grocery store. Um, there's a new toy aisle that's growing pretty quickly now, and it's the the cards and little plastic crap things that are near usually the service desk or the uh, check stands at grocery stores. I believe they're high volume stealing toys so they put them there so they can keep an eye on people. But uh, I got Yoshi blind, uh, very neat little RC car toy. <laughs> I always like Yoshi, he's one of my favorites. So there's Yoshi. Next up, where do we go from there? <laughs> This is kind of funny. This is a total armor Batman figure. Um, well, the Joker, his enemy. And <laughs> it looks like it comes with uh, my first um, brass knuckles. <laughs> that's that's what you want to teach your kid is, is here you go. Um, practice with these. So let me open this guy up. I haven't opened him up yet. He's just been sitting um, in my pile of stuff. And I have a small Joker collection, so I thought, oh, if you need to get this guy, you know, he's a red. I'm a, I'm more of a purple fan. Um, so here's the Joker. Very kind of a hunched over fellow, and uh, in his red attire from Batman: Brave and the Bold, and they've got these all these little holes on these this style figure to, to place the accessories of the brass knuckles so now he can like like shoulder someone with the brass knuckle <laughs> so yeah just kind of a fun fun strange toy toy day. and even it, it really fits little kids little fingers I mean that those are some small finger holes I couldn't get my fingers in there usually I'm, I'm good with the kids watches but this I can't even fit but that's pretty funny Brass knuckles for kids. <laughs> what do they think of next? <laughs> um, well, now what do we got? We've got medium sized iron hide, and we've got miniature sized iron hide. Um, I picked up this guy maybe early, early, um, early December, <laughs> and uh, I really liked him. Uh, pretty neat toy overall. The only thing is that when you transform him into truck mode, his his uh, his truck bed is kind of full of crap, and so that's kind of dumb. It's really hard to transform too. Well, not really hard, but hard enough to cause things. And the little guy, he's a little easier to transform sometimes. But I got him as a Christmas gift, which was pretty cool because then I had something to play with at the table. Um, it doesn't take much to keep me amused. So that's Ironhide from Dark of the Moon. Lion-O and Mumra Adventure, where they go to the carnival. Here they are. Um, Bandai has now switched to 6-inch size classics. Before they were 8-inch, but they sold horribly. And for some reason they think this size will sell better. Probably easier to make, cheaper to make, less plastic. But um, I think it's cool 
I like the size. It fits the new line of Thundercats, so if you want to mix and match, you've got that ability. Um, so I'm, I'm fine. I'm glad they decided now instead of halfway through the 8-inch line. Um, and I really like the 8-inch line. Oh, still, he's up there on my shelf somewhere. But, um, you know, this is fine, too. I like these. The only drawback is Mumra did not come with a sword or weapon, which was huge name of mistake. I can't believe they did that. I mean, what were they thinking? He's got his bandages. Ooh, I'll bandage you to death. Oh, well, I guess that works. <laughs> okay, so that's those two. Pretty neat. Now, where do we get into? This is a little um, toy that my friend got when he bought some stuff at... Um, Somewhere it was either ToysRUs.com threw this in as a freebie or it was an eBay freebie. I don't know. They're kind of little, they're you know those squeaky toys with the little plastic things. Um, now there's like a thousand different variations from a thousand different companies. Probably really easy to make. Um, but this is called the Trash Pack, and I, th I think this one's probably a little more clever than most because it's original. It's not like just Marvel toys once again thrown in a different format. It is entirely new. Trash Pack comes in this little metal container and you get a little trash can which is really neat um, almost G.I. Joe size and you get a little squeaky plastic squishy figure and this is a green or um, I don't know what it, what he is again but he's like a little fox with a green mouth all just like rabid and rabid and and gooey and, and gross and that, that's pretty funny um, I could I could I could see myself collecting these when I was younger and even today so that's what that is. That's pretty neat, huh? Whoa, I totally missed. Um, next is a Hot Wheels car. I uh, saw this at the store. It was a 2012 Hot Wheels Premier car. It is the Troy Soldier, which is pretty neat because it looks like a soldier from... Actually, it looks more like a Spartan, but a, a Troy Trojan soldier. Um, kind of has more of a Spartan look to me with the gold and the red and the cool plume, but... <laughs> that's pretty neat. They need to build this for like teams that have Spartans. Um, this G.I. Joe was pretty neat. I haven't opened him yet, surprisingly. He's just way too cool. It's a uh, Hazard Toxic Viper Specialist for Cobra. Cobra. <laughs> um, just comes with an assortment of things. Some vile toxic canisters, a suitcase. Um, a pack of stuff that probably shoots out water or something, but I just thought he was really neat and I was gonna do something really cool with it, but I got haven't got to that yet. Um, here's a Star Wars space clone trooper. Mm, I think it's just a space trooper. Um, probably from concept um, stuff. I thought he was pretty neat and I was gonna do something with him too, but I've been really lazy this month, but um, I might yet do that. A neat, neat idea in store for this guy. So keep an eye out. You might see something neat with that guy. Um, now I've got a couple Death Stars to show. Um, my friend, That Boy White, um, he did a Craigslist auction early December where he got just a bunch of Star Wars stuff um, on Craigslist for 15 bucks. A um, uh, couple Death Star, well, three Death Star toys, um, two voice changer helmets and several other Star Wars accessories. That was just a crazy deal. Um, this is one. This is a totally seamless um, Death Star Transformer, a Darth Vader um, Transformer. Um, complete perfect ball here. You can't even see the, the seams. It's pretty amazing. Um, if I was really good at transforming him, because I never got the instructions, um, you'd probably even see less seams, which is like amazing, because if you saw less seams, this would be yeah, so he transforms into Darth Vader, and he sets stuff, and um, forgive me if I'm doing this wrong, I'm kind of in a hurry, and he's in the eyes, no, I just got this weird flipping backpack thing, he's a pretty neat toy, um, he is missing a few parts, his leg, he's, he's got a bad bum foot, missing foot, he does have all his minifigures though in these little windows, which are pretty neat to have. And I always liked the um, uh, Star Wars Transformers when they had the mech pilots, just because it made made a little more sense to me that these Transformers would be driven by people. I don't know. I just thought it was a cooler idea. It was, it was a really weird um, toy within a toy type of thing. But, yeah. So, yeah, he's got all sorts of cool voices. I find your lack of faith disturbing. 
Well, I thought I had good faith. I'm, I'm kind of sorry, Darth. I, I had good faith. I didn't. Well, okay, I guess I will join you. So, anyway, that's Darth Vader. Great toy for, again, 15 bucks. So he's probably like $2. Um, then we also, <laughs> I always insert we, um, this old toy from Micro Machines. It's a opening um, Death Star place that it's pretty sweet. Um, unfortunately, it's missing all its minifigures. And that's kind of a bummer, but it's still just a fantastic toy to open and close with because you've got basically the whole Star Wars story here with Tatooine, you know, the homestead and the Jawas and Tusken Raiders and the Cantina and then the Death Star. Um, I guess they skipped Yavin, but it's most of the movie right there and it all, all folds up into this ball, which is just crazy cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to start looking for minifigures for this thing. It's, it's just amazing how well this opens too. I mean, that's killer. I'm like a magician. Woo! So yeah, way the heck cool for again, like two dollars. So yeah, talk about exciting. Um, I've got some uh, Star Wars body wash here I got for Christmas. Um, this stuff is pretty incredible because you um, become the character you use. So uh, when I tried Obi-Wan, um, the body wash, it became Obi-Wan and uh, Yoda and uh, well then Captain Rex. So it smells really good too. I mean, uh, so yeah, it's pretty neat. I like it. All good stuff to have. And then we've got a preview of something I'll be playing with a lot. Um, next year, and that is the Hot Wheels Video Racer. Oh boy, this is great. This is a Hot Wheels car with a camera embedded in it. So, I mean, wow. Its its main intent was for you to, to put the car on racetracks and videotape it. And I've seen reviews where it does that pretty good, but I'm thinking outside of the box and a hundred other things that I can do with this thing, um, besides colonoscopies. But um, it's going to be great. Like... Yeah, it's got good good frame rate, so I'll be doing a lot more of this, so keep an eye on that for 2012. And, uh, that's about it. I think I've reviewed what I wanted to go through. Um, I've got a bunch of other stuff that I got coming, but I wanted to get a new, better camera, because I'm tired of this low-quality video stuff. I'm going to go total HD 2012 is my goal, so keep an eye out for that. Um... Other than that, thank you everybody for watching. I had a great year on my channel. I think I've made about 3,000, no, 3,000, 300,000 views, and I'm up to about 200 subscribers, so that's really exciting, and I hope to get continue the wave and, and continue to provide you more funny, weird stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be an exciting 2012. Um, thanks again for tuning in to the Toy Museum and my Squirrel Stampede channel. And uh, I'm going to uh, finish up there and get, and get back to my uh, typing. So.